Yo, what's up? Cyberox here. Today, I am going to be teaching you how to include a file on your HTML website or how to include a, um, a video to your website, whichever one. Um, I'm doing this uh, HTML style, so, um, <clears throat> you know, if you want to learn how to do it um, graphically, um, you know, something like Dreamweaver or whatever, I do not know. Considering I do not like Dreamweaver, I am actually a full-blown coder. So, if you're into HTML and you're actually coding with it, by all means, this is the one for you. If you are trying, wanting to do this graphically and you do have no idea how to do code, this is not for you. So, let's go ahead and get down to it. Now, before you would go to a video on any on any video on YouTube, and over here or wherever, there'd be like a little embed code, URL code, codes to that, right? So I was like, oh, okay. Well, believe it or not, it actually didn't really go away. It just went to a different place. Um, yeah, better example. So if you, um, let, let's go ahead and we already have a web page right here, actually, which is right here, fully blank. We also have our notepad, plus, plus, portable, up and running. Alright, so what we're going to be needing to do to include a video file is nothing much. So let's go and get down to it. First, pick a video you would like to have on your website. I'm going to use my latest video called Big Update. Um, you know, so it's one of my videos, so I don't have to worry about copywriting or anything. I assume my own self. Ha ha ha. Anyways, whenever you're on the video, right click on the video and go to copy embed html that's where it actually is you know you can do a lot of stuff you can uh, take speed tests and i mean depending on what stuff you got you know you can do a lot so just copy embed html so just click on that let's go back to our website over here clicky right there anytime now Firefox is gay. And here we go. Alrighty, so now that we're here, what we're going to need to do is go to our um, editor, HTML editor, whichever one you are currently using. Go right here. Alright, now either you can right click and paste your code here or whatever. I'm going to go ahead and paste it. I'm already here. And as you see, here is the code for it. So if we're, since we know a good amount of HTML, we're actually going to enlarge it a wee bit. Oh, not off to the other screen. Now just basically enlarge it. Let's come over here. So this way we can kind of look to see what's going on. It's an object and the style equals height is to 390 pixels with 640 pickles. Pickle. Wow. Wow, that's 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 really embarrassing. Wow, pickles. That's Okay, so yeah, 640 pixels. Um, of width, and now we have a different one called param, um, name equals movie, value, and here's the URL code for it, here we go, which if we actually go to that YouTube video, you can actually see the URL code for it, we have another parm, or param, uh, oh, let me just use the drag bar over here, uh, param equals name equals allow full screen, value equals true hmm another param name equals allow script access oh, okay there's some javascript in value equals always embed src equals the url code okay that's how we that's how they do it okay okay type equal equals application forward slash x dash shockwave dash flash that's cool. Allow full screen. True. Okay. Allow script access. Always. Width uh, equals 640 pickles and height equals 390 pickles. End object. So that is actually pretty good. Cool. Um, you know, you can if you understand HTML a good amount, you know, because this is advanced or novice, which I want. I still don't know what it's called. 
But um, anyways, this is sort of up there. So if you watch all of my previous tutorials, you should know what this is. All right. So basically, it set the height and all that stuff. Great. Okay. But let's go and get actually to the website. So let's go ahead and refresh it. All right. And y'all probably won't see it on mine because it's annoying. But down here, here's a little block button to tell you know my computer, hey, block this. Okay. Here it goes. And here's the video itself. Um, as you see, excuse me. As you see, it's uh, the actual video. Uh, my computer's slow, and my internet's not that good, so it's not going to actually load up the video. However, you do have a play button. I mean, everything is just like you see it on the YouTube, on YouTube period. And they also have a YouTube button down here, which allows you to go to YouTube or watch on YouTube as well. Which is really cool, and you can pause it, you know. So that's that's unique. All right. So let's say um, let's go and do some more rearranging, shall we? Let's go and add some div tags. Div style equals. All right. Let's go ahead and come right here and just in the div real quick because I'm cool like that. <laughs> Alrighty. Now up here in our style, what we're gonna do? We're just. I'm um, basically. I'm gonna position it to the middle because I don't want it right there. P o s i t i o n. Uh, a B S O L U T E absolute. We go top. Um, about 200 pickles, and from the left, about a good 400 pickles. All right, now we're gonna save it. Come back over here. Refresh the page. Any minute now, it will refresh. Trust me, it will. Oh well, my luck, I'll try to make a video and it just totally does not refresh. So, I mean, hey, whatever, you know, pickles. Okay, well, as you see, um, the video went down, but not over at all. So, let's go back to our code again. And, oh, see, there you go. We did not, we forgot to add the full colon. That would be a problem. I am getting text like it ain't nothing. Come over here, we're going to save it again. Save it again. Okay, cool. We set our pickles and pixels and stuff like that. Come back over here to our actual website. Wow, cool. So, I mean, it, it looks just like you would have it on any other YouTube video. So, let's go ahead and refresh it. Then, as you see, the block tab is over here this time. And, as you see, it's actually moved over quite a bit. But, still, I don't want it there, per se. So, we're going to move it to the... We're actually going to move it to the left a couple more. But we're going to put 350 from the left. Back over here. Should be able to refresh it. Whenever it does refresh, I will let you know. <laughs> okay, it finally refreshed. And it should be somewhere around here. Okay, well here's a block tab. So that means it should be right over here somewhere. Beats me. Alright, here we go. Perfect. Right in the middle. Cool. So that's how to add a video to your HTML website and uh, actually position it too because I just told you how to position. So it's really cool. Um, so yeah, that's actually how to add a video to your website without you know, having any trouble per se. Remember, if you ever want to find a video, just right click on it. Click on Copy Embed in HTML. And once you do that, you can come over here again and just simply, you know, put it in your body code. And there you go. Yeah, so that's really cool. So, yeah. Um, real quick, I advise y'all not to put two videos um, of the same type because it would really mess up. Or, I mean, it, it won't mess up because I'm actually I'm working on a website right now where I'm going to be adding a bunch of videos to it. But what I was saying is because, like, if you put it too close together or something, you can really get confused. That's why it's nice to add a comment. So, you know, uh, if you do not know what a comment is, real quick, you're going to put the less than, dash, or less than, exclamation, dash, 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 greater than. And that right there is a comment. In between the two dashes, you would write um, whatever you want. 
but that's a common. That's what's kind of really useful whenever you're doing um, programming on HTML because you can kind of you know say, hey, this is where this starts, this is where this ends, you know, just like that. On the newest website I'm actually currently working on, which is a big update for CyberOx's website, if you right-click and um, hit View Page Source, whenever I actually do come out with a newer update for the website, you can actually see I'll have a lot of comments in there and you can actually go and look and see how I did everything. So, but um, the new website's not up just yet, but it will be some sometime soon, hopefully. But anyways, that's how to add a video to your HTML website, and that's how to add a video to your website. Period. So, or HTML code wise. So, as always, um, thank you for watching CyberOx, and God bless. And please forgive me for saying pickles and not pixels. Have a good day.